Hi everyone, I'm back with another video in the Akashic Records series. So today I want to talk about the Akashic Records and children. Um, parents have reached out to me and asked, can you read my child's Akashic Records? Is it allowed to go into a child's Akashic Records when they cannot really give you their permission? And the way that I do this and the way that I think most people do it, that I know anyway, um, is that as long as the child cannot give you their permission, then you as the parent can give the reader permission to read their child's Akashic records. Now, my daughter, she was young, uh, she was really young when she was already interested in all of this because she saw me do this work so she knows what this is all about so she understands what this is all about but let's say the average child um, that is under 12 years old then I will be okay with the parents giving me their permission but a child over 12 I wouldn't feel comfortable reading their Akashic records if they did not give me their permission and if the parents were like yeah but it's okay uh, I'm giving you my permission. No, that child is old enough to decide for themselves. So then I won't do that. But any child under 12, then I will do it if you give me their permission. Oh, your permission to read their Akashic records. Um, and also, is it a good idea? Is it allowed? Um, I do believe in soul contracts. And I think if the parent feels that it's a good idea, then there's probably a reason for it. And um, I've even done channeling sessions for children. I did a channeling session for a girl, I believe she's 11. And she was really mature. And she was asking me all the questions. And we channeled, I believe, her dragon guide. But her mom is also an intuitive. So she knows all this stuff. So it depends. Some children are very spiritual. Some children are very intuitive, they get raised with all of this stuff. Like my daughter, like a lot of the children of my friends, they get brought up with all of this spiritual stuff. But if you um, have a child that is, that is not exposed to any of this, and then you have a spiritual awakening, and you're wondering uh, about your kid, but they have no idea about any of this, <laughs> then... Um, it depends really on how well they're able to understand what that is, an energy reading or a channeling session or whatever. And if you can talk and explain what that is, then they can give their permission definitely when, like, when they're around 12 years old. So I hope that answers some questions. and. Um, you can also try to connect to your child's Akashic records in meditation. But if they are over 12 years old, I would definitely ask permission first. Because it's just like anything, anything normal 3D stuff that you would start asking your kid permission for. Like you're not going to go and barge into their bedroom after a specific age, you're going to start knocking on the door and you're going to start to give them more privacy. It's the same thing for energetic space. You're going to start to respect their energetic space when they're a certain age. So I hope that that was helpful. Definitely go check out all the other videos in this Akashic Records series. Um, stay tuned for more videos coming up. And if you are interested in an Akashic Records reading, uh, they are on sale right now for the holidays. So I will be back with more videos soon. Bye bye.